Link down below, as always, if you want to read this shit on your own. This is a big update. It's the biggest one so far. General removed some input delay and softened the edges of the dead zone for aiming input. This should result in better fine aiming control. Various fixes to prevent the player falling or hanging through the floor or getting stuck in the falling animation. Fixed general collision issues allowing players to walk through some walls in varying locations. Various fixes to players getting stuck on ladders. Fixed an issue preventing camera control when a player enters photo mode with iron sights. The free cam has now been restricted slightly in photo mode to avoid exploits during Axis invasions. Fixed an issue incorrectly allowing weapon scroll when using a mountain machine gun. Med kits will now work as expected on application. The precision machine's receiver attachment will now correctly reduce speed rather than increase it. The Austin control grip will now improve recoil recovery as expected. Jeff Sullivan's equipment will now appear as expected when selecting him as a playable character. Show off in saboteur. Saboteur, whatever. Saboteur, tabarnak, it's a French word. The metals should now unlock correctly. Machine gunners will no longer T-pose when shot. Player can now... Sorry. Player can no longer equip weapons or binoculars when using a mounted machine gun. Dead enemies hidden in crates no longer continue <laughs> to move. Oh, uh, shit. Player is no longer able to hide underwater in the landing zone multiplayer map. Grenades will no longer get stuck to the player's hand when attempting to throw them. Grenade arcs will no longer disappear unexpectedly, fixed an issue impacting the ability to use the grenade hotkey, as well as an issue causing her Grunberg name to display incorrectly when looking at them through the binoculars. The overpressure magazine now correctly lists increased bullet drop as a con. Enemy AI will no longer disappear from the map when a cutscene gets triggered. Booby. Trapped bodies will now explode as expected. Fixed an issue causing flare guns to slow down movement. Players will no longer be able to attain the authentic trophy by exploiting the ability to change difficulties in the pause menu. Fixed an issue causing an inability to drop dead bodies on pickup. As well as an issue causing AI to get caught in a consistent investigation loop. Fruit boxes will no longer levitate or appear to multiply <laughs> unexpectedly, as well as an issue in survival mode. Well, it's going to be good to have that, you know, fruit box multiply unexpectedly in survival mode. But anyways, there's been an issue that's been fixed that was causing the crew and armored vehicles to remain alive after the vehicle's destruction, halting progression onto the next wave, as well as an issue stopping the satchel charge from unlocking on completion of the campaign. As well as an issue causing the game crash when already exiting. Or where some players were experiencing Axis soldiers would get sucked crouched in <laughs> midair. Or an issue causing birds to get stuck in place. As well as an issue causing wind to be disabled incorrectly in the campaign survival. The trigger volume for mines has now been increased to ensure they activate in range regardless of human or vehicle targets. Fixed an animation glitch causing an AI soldier to get off his bike after being shot despite being dead I saw that and it was funny as hell shot the guy right in the head he was completely dead and then he just casually gets off his bike and then just plops dead it was the funniest shit ever fixed an issue causing headlights to turn on and off based on the player's proximity microphone volume will no longer automatically return to 100% each time a player returns to game additional minor bug fixes and improvements and some fixes to some of the uh, some of the missions enemy or enemy mission one enemy at the boathouse will now spawn correctly so players can retrieve the key and proceed to the next section of the map Marcel's key will now correctly unlock the floorboard after retrieving it from the building's attic fixed an issue causing the chandelier to activate twice if shot then activated via the lever fixed the bug stopping some players from unlocking the carabiner 98 after killing Friedrich with a chandelier or a bug causing the ending cutscene to play too early for some players. Premature, you know, cutscene. Anyways. The beach defenses, collectible item, will now appear correctly. The kill list targets Stefan Beckendorf vehicles will no longer disappear. Mission 4 fixed an issue halting progression after sabotaging the smelting vat by pulling the lever, as well as an issue stopping some players from being able to sabotage the crane by pressing the switch. Players will now be able to exfiltrate Mission 4 as expected. Fixed an issue stopping players from being able to enter the building via the vent, or an issue causing irregular movement when walking down the stairs, 
or a bug stopping players from being able to enter via the roof hatch to obtain the collectible item. I fixed an issue, causing the mission to end too early when entering the building near the kill list target. Mission 5, the objective to bury Lanzo Bomb in concrete will now complete as expected on completion. Specific to Xbox players in Mission 5, well no one cares about Xbox players. Mission 6, no I'm just kidding. Uh, Xbox players on 5 uh, players are now able to interact and destroy the radio with the crowbar as expected. Mission 6 fixed an issue causing some irregular movement of the kill list. Target Jan Trotman. Give this video a thumbs down. I'll give you a backhand upside the head so hard you will have irregular movement for about 15 minutes. The 222 tank will now spawn as expected. Mission 7. Fixed an issue stopping the kill list reward, the RSC-1918, from unlocking after the V-2 rocket has been dropped onto Dr. Younger's. Younger's, whatever. An issue causing irregular movement again on ladders has been fixed, which sometimes resulted in players getting stuck. Fixed an issue causing a box to float. Mission 8. Fixed an issue causing enemies to appear invisible in the hangar. Target... Hitler in Mission 10. Fixed an issue impacting the ability to pick up a crowbar. Hitler will now acknowledge the player as expected during a gunfight. Specific to Xbox players in Mission 10, the tower will fall as expected once the cables are sabotaged with the bolt cutters. And Xbox players will also have that tower fall on their noggin. Accessibility FOV slider, adjust the FOV between 16 and 120. Limited to PC only. Toggle stealth highlight. Remove the outline around the player when in stealth foliage. Thank God for that. Found in difficulty customization setting. Greatly reduced HUD. Pan map with keyboard. Map can now be panned on keyboard using the arrow keys. Auto run. When enabled, press the traversal button to toggle auto run. Carl will run forward. You can adjust direction and state walk, crouch, prone, sprint. Auto traversal when enabled, car will automatically traverse small obstacles when walking or sprinting. Auto climb when enabled, car will automatically climb. Toggle aim. When enabled, aim can be toggled on and off using the press and aim key. Toggle radial menu when enabled, the radial menu can be toggled on and off using a press of the inventory button. And that is it. As always, you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does really help support the channel with the algorithm in making me a little bit more relevant in the search results and people are looking shit up. You didn't like the video. You already know what's going to happen with the irregular movement once you get the back end. Once you get that pimp slap right upside the face. Alright? And if you want to subscribe to the channel, obviously that would be fucking fantastic. But if not, eh, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.